September 4th, 2014. Nice shot of the moon. Currently 7 o'clock when I'm filming this. There's the Mississippi kite. Sitting out there watching them fly around in their circles eating. Must have been 20 of them. Here come a vulture decided to climb on in there and one of them chased him right off. They're pretty particular about that. Hope this finds y'all well. I'm sitting here in my comfy chair bringing a message to you. As I sat and pondered those birds, there must have been 20 or 30 in that one bunch just circling. I'm in awe how God has provided a feast sets before them a banquet every night and every evening and they he doesn't just provide them a banquet it's done with an aerial ballet as well all those animals seem to thrive on it God provides for them every day. They don't toil or sweat. They just fly around for fast circles. Interesting ballet watching them feed. Keeps the insects down. As you can probably hear, there are a lot of them around. And I, I sit here and ponder my own condition you know, having been through severe injuries and stuff in the past, and not being insured and all that, it was pretty hard. Financial times were still strapped. It's been pretty hard. I've gotten healed up somewhat, but I'm never going to be right all the way 100% like I was before. My wife, God bless her. When I got hit by a ton of bricks, you know, she got hurt too. She tried to hold me up under all that weight, and it hurt her. She still hurts from it. You know, most of you married men know this. Uh, most wives will constantly remind you of your shortcomings. And this actually is a good thing. You don't get angry with her for it. My wife has stuck with me through things that most women would have left their husbands for a long time. She sticks with me because she's a godly woman. There's still a lot of love there between us. Intimacy gone a long time ago and we're both getting old. Um, that's no longer a big issue with us. More of a close companionship now. But uh, I see those birds flying around. See how God provides for them, and I know He provides for us as well. When I get worried about these things, you know, all these stress and worry over these things, taxes and debts and bills and medicine and how we're going to pay the rent or the mortgage. we got enough to pay the bills this month. Oftentimes we come short. We're short now. But I, I'm not afraid of it. I'm not going to let it bother me or worry me. You know, yeah, I could probably lose my house. I could probably lose all my any money I've managed to save. I could probably lose my wife. Probably, probabilities are not necessarily what happens. A lot of things could happen. There are probabilities of many other things happening as well. Many good things. We stress over those little problems we have, which are mostly fleshly, worldly problems. And we we will be um, 
the word I'm trying to get would be frozen, unable to do anything to affect our situation. Now I've been in worse conditions. I've been poor. There was a time in my life where I lived in the, on the streets. And that was a violent life and a tough life. And uh, it was a daily chore to survive. I got through that with the help of friends, the help of my creator, whether I knew it at the time or not. Now I know it. And I'll get through this with his help too. These are all come upon a lot of people. There are a lot of people suffering worse than me. Some people that have lost their homes and have lost their wives and their families. I'm grateful mine are still together. And we're still holding it for, for now. We're still holding it together. But this is just a building that I sleep in put my stuff in. That's all it's ever been to me. My wife is much more important to me than this property. And uh, the burden I put upon her and the burden which has been put upon me is my biggest trouble in my life right now. But I know I'll get through it. We both pray about it, and we both look for what God provides. Right now, we're waiting on God, and I continue while I'm waiting to struggle forward through my work and what efforts I can to provide. We're not hungry, and we still have family and friends that care for us, and my job is picking up. You know, when you're living from paycheck to paycheck and you haven't got a paycheck coming, it can get really tough. That's part of being uh, self-employed, you might say, sometimes. The kind of line of work that I've done. Competition's fierce when uh, I have to compete with uh, a man that hires five or six illegal immigrants to do the same job. And a third of the time at half the price, it's kind of hard for a guy like me to make ends meet and some of these things. But my reputation and my work show for itself, and I do get work still. I'm not a big business. I just go around fixing people's houses up. I used to do a lot more. But now I do this remodeling and repairing and it provides and it will provide more in the future as it comes and I'm not afraid you know kind of like uh, death I'm not afraid of death in fact I actually look forward to it to be released from this world and rejoining with a great friend great and glorious friend. So, uh, am I looking forward to death, which I have for a long time. Since my near-death experience, I've been looking forward to death. And that's one of the things that keeps me alive, allows me to go on without fear of what comes. I move on forward, one day at a time, waiting for God. And he will come, he will answer. He always has, he always will. So when you're troubled, you think it's hard. Remember, it could be a lot worse. And there's a lot of people out there suffering a lot worse than us. Think about them. And uh, do what you can. Those of you that have means and substance, those who think of only of themselves and of what, what they may obtain in this life, well, your reward is in this life. And there 
a lot of people out there hurting. Yeah, I will never envy such a wealthy person. Never when when uh, there's such more, so much more happiness and joy in this life that I have, though impoverished it may be. God provides for the littlest of his creatures out there. Don't you think he'll provide for you as well? I wish I could be a little more cheery, but I've been working all day. And it's pretty hot here. And the wind's been tough. So if I look a little drawn and tired and worn, that's because I'm drawn and tired and worn. Emotionally, I'm I'm quite stable and happy, except for when I see my wife sad. Of course, when the wife is sad, everybody's sad. Not much I can do about other person's happiness, but it always hurts me to see her suffering emotionally. Physically we're all fine. And I know and she knows as well that God will provide. And sometimes women have to let it out. And it it is disturbing, but they they'll better off when they get over with it. And we'll go on. And I can only do what I can do. For the moment, much of these problems I cannot do anything about right now. And uh, being worried and upset about things you have no control over, that's just plumb crazy. I do have things I have control over, and those things, those things I can work on. And most of them, and they have to do with here, not out there. And has I become able and willing, the Lord will deal with these things in me as well. He will in you as well, if you ask Him in time, when you're ready. And if you're having hard times, don't be upset at God. He sees your suffering. He knows you're having a hard time. Have faith. He always comes through one way or the other. Think first of God and do. Have a good day, everybody. And peace, love, and understanding. Be with you. What? what are you telling me?